Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can download and install OptiFabric in 2024. Because OptiFine and Fabric are both mod loaders, we can't actually use them at the same time, as they aren't compatible. OptiFabric, however, is the mod that allows you to run OptiFine on the Fabric mod launcher. This is a great way to run shaders with OptiFine while still using Fabric mods. Now, before we start, this tutorial is super simple. As long as you follow my exact steps, you're going to have no trouble. If you do have any issues, leave a comment down below and myself or another viewer will help you out. So if you want to head down to the first link of the description, give it a click and you'll find yourself on the Curse Forge website, where we'll be downloading OptiFabric. Now it's a good idea to start with OptiFabric, as the compatibility mod always seems to be lagging behind when it comes to updates, as opposed to OptiFine and Fabric. Head over to Files and you'll see that ever so recently the version for 1.20.4 just came out. So hit the three dots and click download. Wait just five seconds and your download will begin. But for now, consider dropping a like on the video and maybe leave me a nice comment. Next, head to the second link and let's download Optifine. Head to downloads and look for the same version as Optifabric, which is 1.20.4. If there's a newer version available, however, when watching this video, feel free to use that. Click preview version and mirror and download, just like this. And finally, one more download before we start the installation process. Third link in the description takes you to the official Fabric download page. Now, don't click download for Windows and instead click download universal jar. Open up your downloads folder and drag and drop all three files to your desktop. Great, we have everything downloaded. Let's start off by right clicking the Fabric launcher, click open with and select Java. Now, if you don't have Java as an option to open with, this may be because you've never downloaded Java on your computer and Java 17 is essential for running any sort of Minecraft mods. I've already created a full very easy tutorial on how to download and install the latest Java. You can find the link to that on screen and in the description along with a jar fix in that video to ensure I can get this to work for you as quick as possible. Once you have Java and you've opened up Fabric with Java you'll see the mod system installer which looks like this. So here once again we need to make sure everything is compatible. So if the mods are all 1.20.4, select 1.20.4. But obviously, if you've got newer versions, then select newer version. In short, create profile is ticked and hit install. I must stress that if for some reason the download fails, it's probably because you have either Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher currently open. So ensure you've got both of them closed down. If they are closed and it's still not working, it may be because you've never played the current version of Minecraft yet. So you need to open up the Minecraft launcher and load up 1.20. 20.4 for example, load it to the point that it's on the title screen, close it down and then retry the launcher. If everything is good however, you'll see it's successfully installed and we can now delete the launcher from our desktop. Next we want to install our mods, so open the Minecraft launcher and you should now see Fabric in the bottom left as an option when launching Minecraft. If you see this, that's great. If you don't, click installations, ensure modded is ticked, click new installations, hit the versions drop down menu and and find Fabric in this list. On the installations page, look for the folder looking icon next to Fabric and give it a click. This is your official Minecraft folder and you should see a folder called Mods. If you don't, that's fine. Just right click, create new folder and rename it to Mods but ensure it's spell and looks exactly the same as how I've done it. Open up that folder and now drag our Optifine and Optifabric into this folder. Close that folder down and hit play. Once Minecraft is launched, you should now see Fabric in the bottom left along with Optifine, which reassures us that everything's going well and working so far. If you go to Options, Video Settings, Shaders, you can see that everything is working as intended. You can now use Optifine and Shaders whilst using mods at the exact exact same time. Please leave a like if this video helped you out and have a lovely day. Goodbye.